Just a few years ago, an aerial lift operator decided for just a moment to unclip his lanyard from its designated anchor point so that he could more easily handle the materials he was working with at roof height. In that moment, however, he lost his footing, tumbled over the rails, and fell to his death. It was a tragedy that shook the small crew of which he was an integral part. In the investigation that followed, OSHA determined that the man had been properly trained and that he, unfortunately, had acted on his own. But a heavy citation was still issued. When asked why, the employer was told, because you could have done more. Fair or not, it is under that adage, you could have done more, that we hope this training will be applied. As trainers, can we do more? As employers, as longtime workers or new hires, can we do more? Statistics say, yes, we can all do more. We can all do better. And in fact, we need to, starting today. The importance of creating and then sustaining a safe workplace cannot be understated. And so it is with that in mind that we welcome you to the Hard Hat Training Series. Trainers have an immense influence on the people they train. They do not just relay information, they are, in the best sense, teachers. They are not only in a position to inspire and motivate, but also to instigate change. Today you will learn about the setup and safe operation of aerial lifts. We will strive to provide information that will increase your knowledge and help to make you a better operator. Aerial lift platforms are great tools to conduct work at heights and increase production efficiency. These machines lift personnel along with tools and materials from 10 to 12 feet in the air to as high as 100 feet or more. Aerial lifts have made it safer and easier to lift personnel and their tools to great heights. If used correctly, this equipment provides quick and safe access to work areas that at one time could only be reached from scaffolding or a crane's man basket. Collectively, they're called Mobile Elevated Work Platforms, but individually they have many different names. Let's first take a general look at the different lift forms before moving on to the more specific types later on.